Well, usually you don't see a, a beanie and a jacket in Florida. Um, there's not too many people who are dumb enough to do it, but uh, we're gonna see what the service ceiling is on the air coupe. Wish us luck. <laughs> Winter Haven traffic, air tube 9 or 9 or 369 or departing runway 29, we'll be departing to the south. Winter Haven. Mixtures in. Feels good, it's a little warm in here right now. Winter Haven traffic, field truck cross 523, Bravo 3, Winter Haven. 29 confirmed. Full throttle, that's looking good. Airspeed's alive. 30, 40, 45, 50, 55. Rotate. Alrighty. Instrument's still looking good. Airspeed's good. Now we'll see uh, how this thing is climb. Air coupes are known for their climbing performance. Well, hopefully with the new carb, we'll actually get some performance. Yeah, I feel stronger. I'll be shocked if we're anywhere close to our numbers of guessing. You, were, you said 10 and I said 10.5. So, just getting close to crossing 5,000. Not great. <laughs> but instruments are looking good. See what uh, happens. Six thousand four hundred now, and uh, the wardrobe change. <laughs> yeah, we're, yeah, we're still holding about a hundred feet per minute, so that's fluctuating anywhere between a hundred to two hundred feet per minute. Yeah, currently. Right, it is hot, Florida, high humid. That's not going to help. And we are thirty miles from Arcadia, which is. Kind of our point to also make this thing across country while we're doing this. My guess is by Arcadia, we may be getting close to nine if it keeps climbing. If we're lucky. <laughs> yeah, if we're lucky. <laughs> so, be interesting. Uh, and right now, still, clouds are giving us the window to do this. So, hopefully, we'll be able to keep climbing without having to change anything uh, and uh, yeah so nope just, just now crossing get close to crossing 9,000 feet uh, weirdly enough we in the past couple minutes we get getting a slightly better time performance and we've got a little bit left on the throttle, but we're going to be kind to the engine. Uh, and we're eight miles out from Arcadia. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a loop over Arcadia and head back to Winter Haven and kind of see what we're at then. Uh, right, I mean, here about... 50 feet shy of 9,000 right now. I'm thinking by the time we're back at Winter Haven, we'll be at 10.5 at the best. Yeah. 
At the best. At the best. Uh, it's very interesting. You know, it's not often you actually test things that the POH said, and especially a POH that was designed about 80 years ago. So, flying performance for an 80-year-old man, not bad. So, just crossing 9,000 now, and we've been using an indicated about 60, 65. That seems to be giving our, our best performance. So, very interesting. And this is about the only little bit of cloud window. I don't know if the GoPro on the tail is showing it, but uh, we basically have a lane of clouds to maintain contact with the ground. So, again, we're keeping an eye on that and making sure we're not getting stuck in IMC. Fun. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> <laughs> Arcadia traffic, air coop niner niner, three six niner, overflying midfield at nine thousand five hundred. Arcadia. <laughs> Why did you? <laughs> why did you make a call? That doesn't make any freaking sense. <laughs> Just letting him know. Please advise. Please advise. All right, let's turn it back toward Old Gibble Field. Yes, yeah, well, sir. All righty. So we are just now crossing the eleven thousand feet marker. So we should have brought supplemental oxygen. Yeah. <laughs> Getting close. Very interesting. We're still 30 miles and about 20 minutes out from Winter Haven. So I think EOH for the 415-C, at least the one I've got, says 11.5 is the absolute ceiling. And... Um, and we probably ahead. spot on. <laughs> yeah, it's probably spot on. I mean, our we're still just barely, barely climbing. Um, but it just doesn't seem to want to quit. Um, we do have the upgraded engine, so we do have the Continental 85. I'm sure you would get a little better with the O200. But and we have seen a drastic performance increase after the new carb that we just had put in. Yeah. So, uh, the last time the carb was overhauled before that was 1988. So, it was about time for that, and we've noticed a decent performance boost. Well, UH, I think might be a little conservative. Where <laughs> Just now coming up on 11,500. So, and we're still just. 176 kilo mic for my perch on guard. Contact me on 134.42. Still, still just plugging away. We're just now about to cross 1, 1,500. So, just now crossing it. That's a sight to see for the air coop. And we're just maintaining barely above 60 indicated. So it's very, very neat and beautiful day to do it. One one thousand seven hundred fifty right now. Supplemental oxygen in a little bit. Yep. If we're over for thirty minutes. Uh, but uh. <laughs> feel the uh. I want to feel, feel this. <laughs> we're just trying to keep our drinks cold. Yeah, you know it's really hot in Florida, so this keeps it cool. I, honestly, I'm enjoying being cold for a minute because I know when we get down, I'm going to be almost sweating. The antennas are at your 10 o'clock, almost 9 o'clock. I haven't worn a beanie since living in Colorado. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and I'm only one born them ironically. <laughs> Like popcorn. Does. Two eight zero. I'm bringing out to the west to get you down, and then we'll, once you get underneath the trap, we'll bring you back. All right, eleven thousand eight hundred. Yep, we probably could have made twelve, but we're gonna get down just because of the cold front, and it's a yep. definitely an overcast layer. Yep. So. Coming down.